Hi, I'm Jackie Herman's inspirational comedian, providing you with a Lighten Up video blog. And today I want to talk to you about change. There are some people out there that are just not interested in changing. They're not willing to even hear you. Now, the first thing I want to say is there are probably a lot of people in your life, or at least someone in your life, that you wish they would change. You can see all the stuff that is their baggage, their crap that you love for them to get rid of and you want so badly for them to change and you tell them maybe how they can change but they're not changing. Now the important thing about change is that it does have to come from within and no matter how much you push and push it's probably going to prevent them from moving forward because you're holding on to that energy so tight it doesn't give them room to move and to grow. So really, the most important thing is for you to work on yourself. As I said on my last video blog about being a nag, it's important for you to go within and, and see, is there something, do I need to change my thought patterns about this so I can change the way I feel, so I can change those negatively charged emotions that are coming up within me because if those negatively charged emotions are coming up within you it might be anger and frustration fear sadness guilt any of those dense heavy energetic emotions that's your stuff so if it's bugging you so much you need to do something about it so sometimes it's about taking action uh, which is communicating to them putting your foot down doing something to make those changes happen or sometimes it's simply you needing to change the way you're thinking about it. Sometimes we just need a new perspective. But change is always so important. And if you don't think you need to change, if you think that you are fine just the way you are, then uh, I can say, great, I'm glad you're happy with that. But here's the problem. Change is always important. Just like we have the changing of the seasons. We have plants that start growing and then they need to pause for a bit and then they grow some more. And then when winter comes, they need to go into that hibernation state and then they come up sprouting again. Change is always never ending. There always needs to be a movement of energy. If you are refusing to move forward, to make changes in your life, then you are holding on to your energy. And when the energy is stagnant, it gets heavier and heavier and denser. And so that's when you can have health issues, physical issues, mental, emotional issues. It will disrupt your holistic balance. Change is imperative. If you don't want to change, if you don't look at where you have opportunities to change, that's where you're going to hold on to that dense, heavy energy. I'm not the same person that I was 10 years ago. I'm actually not the same person that I was three weeks ago. I'm constantly changing. Now, there are people in my life who still look at me as that person three weeks ago, 10 years ago. And so if they're not going to see me in that new space or if they're not moving forward the same way that I am, then we're probably going to not necessarily have a, a good mixing of energy. We're not necessarily going to help each other to grow the most positive place. So... You know, in some cases, we need to move forward, let some doors close, and let other doors open. So change is imperative. I just want to give you this example. It was a few months ago. I went to an improv show, and it was an improv competition, and it was different teams competing against each other. There were some teams that didn't have enough players, so they needed to mix teams up. And we lost one of our really strong players, and then that means I was the captain of our team. My fear started coming up my fear started coming up that it was all on my shoulders. And I was thinking, we lost that really great girl. I wasn't having faith in myself. I wasn't looking at, I am an awesome improviser. But my fear started coming. It was the that fear that was just like the first time I did stand-up. That pressure to be funny as opposed to just doing a keynote presentation and creating laughs and hey people didn't have that expectation of laughter and they're like wow this was better than I thought it was going to be right it, it's different it was more of the pressure so I was feeling that so my fears of failure fears of judgment fears of the unknown were all coming up and I was communicating that to people well I, I think we should be able to have our best player I don't think this is fair of uh, you know, the way the situation is going. And so, and as I was voicing all this stuff, I was hearing myself and I was hearing myself talking about this part of my French bullshit. 
I was distorted. I, I was looking at the situation distorted because all my fear is coming up. And as I was listening to myself speak this to these individuals on my team, I realized what bullshit it was. And so before the show started, I was able to let it go. I needed to take a few minutes by myself too to fully let it go. And by the time the show came around, I, I was fine. I did great. Now, the next time we had a similar type of show going on, no fear whatsoever. It was fine. I needed to work through that. I needed to have that experience, look at myself consciously, look at the situation consciously, look at my fears. I'm like, okay, I don't need this anymore. It's time for me to make a change. It's time for me to change those thought patterns. And so I did it. I didn't need to have the same experience again. And, but other people in my life might still see me as that person in that anxiety state, not being able to handle the situation. But now it's done. The more conscious you are about your emotions that are coming up, the more change you can make, the faster the change. Some of you, and including me in the past, I have needed to go through experiences again and again and again. It's like being hit on the head several times. Jackie, get the message. Look what you're doing every single time. I needed to go through it lots of times. Not to say there's still stuff that maybe I am absolutely blind to. Absolutely. I'm just, stuff is coming up in chunks. I'm looking at it. Oh, okay, I don't need that one anymore. I move forward. Then the next chunk of bullshit will come up and I'll realize I'm like, oh yeah, I don't need that anymore. All right, but we're constantly changing. So change is important. Start looking at every situation consciously. Look at your fears. Look at your anxieties. Look at what is being, what is uncomfortable in your life. Pay attention and either take action to do something different or find a way to change those thought patterns. So I'm Jackie Hermans helping you to lighten up.